What's up, Scrappy Peeps? It's Adele from Ricky Quill, and I'm here. I know I've been away for a little bit, but I'm here. I'm here. And there is a thunderstorm going on in the background. So if you hear any uh, thundery noises, that's what's going on. And if I let out a little scream, some of the thunder has been like that very frightening out of the blue where you don't get the lightning first. It's just like, bah. Anyway, we're here and today we're scrapping six little photos of these two stylish peeps uh, with their sunglasses on. Violet wanted Aaron to also be as fashionista as she is and so she shared her little pink sunnies with her so I had to grab some pics of them. This is from, oh, I think we're in 2021, are we? Or is it 2022? I don't know but they're photos from a while ago. I'm still catching up. Uh, and the first thing I'm doing is picking my paper and I oh and also running out of tape and just abandoning it for now and getting the old-fashioned double-sided tape instead not that one this one uh, but the first thing I did was pick my paper and at the moment my craft room <laughs> She's in shambles. Uh, she's probably the most shambly of shambles she's ever been. And that's okay. Uh, life has been shambelic. <laughs> yeah, we're adding that to the Inky Dictionary. It's been a shambelic life this year. And so that's okay. Um, we're going to head into 2024. Still a bit shambalicious. And anyone else in a bit of a shambalicious <laughs> stage right now let me know in the comments that I'm not alone uh, but we're going to do some big craft room makeover rearranges uh, in the early new year which will be fun but for now I am quite overwhelmed and so I do get very overwhelmed with this time of year I um, yeah November December are not my favorite months of the year they're, they're my least and so to make life a bit easier and to make crafting have a re-spark to it um, we're going to talk about some ways to get your mojo kind of sparkling a bit again because I know I'm not the only one who has you know a bit of a roller coaster when it comes to crafty mojo uh, and something that I'm doing recently is limiting my supplies greatly so I'm not going through things and de-stashing because that's too overwhelming but I am picking uh, I've got a pile of papers probably there might be 25 papers um, that I've picked out and I keep them next to my desk easy to grab and they're the ones that I go through first whenever I'm scrapping and then if I notice the piles getting a bit low I'll grab some more from my stash now understandably if I am doing a like a Christmas page for example I'm going to grab my Christmas paper pads and not use the pile of papers that I've picked next to my desk because they're not Christmas me at all or if I know that I'm doing a specific travel-y thing um, I'll go through and I'll find something that's a bit more on theme but for just the everyday pages majority of my layouts contain one of the kids and Anything that's in the pink, blue, you know, reds, greens kind of color family or just a black and white, they'll go with the photos that I'm using. Um, so today we decided on a bit of a gold foil moment. I think this is an old crepe paper paper and <laughs> crepe paper paper. Uh, and I had been holding on to it because it just, the gold felt like a lot. It felt very glam and it didn't match the photos that I had been scrapping before but I thought with these two little um stylists uh, st style I was going to come up with a word then and that didn't make sense but these two little styly peeps uh, I felt like the gold was definitely um something that could work now this little container here are pieces of chipboard that have fallen off the chipboard sheet and so I took them all off because it was driving me bonkers they were just kept falling off and they have no stickiness on the backing um, but I've put them on my desk and I every time I do a project I need to look through this little container first to try and use them up and um, just as a jumping off point and I think that when your crafty mojo is down and you're feeling you know a bit flat something that you can do is first of all 
uh, minimize your choices that you have to make for a project. So by having a little pile of paper or by having a bowl of embellishments on your desk that you look through first, that's a great way. And then the second thing is to make sure that you've got things on hand that you feel comfortable with. So for me, florals are always going to be something that I feel comfy with. I'm not going to have a bowl of, say, moths and swan embellishments on my desk because those are probably the two things that I feel most uncomfortable in using as embellishments. Uh, I'm going to stick to the things that I love. And that in turn will hopefully help you create a project that you love because the embellishments are things that you um, that appeal to you and that you don't you know, get frustrated with. <laughs> um, so while I've been yakking on, I've done a few things to this page. I am currently sticking down some little acetate um, inky Patreon printables from a couple of years ago and I'm putting those on. Um, I've also did a pink splodge in the background because I felt like the, the background with the gold foil, it doesn't really come up on camera, but it's a lot. It's very busy and I felt like for my title I needed to um, kind of simmer it down a bit it needed to come <laughs> needs to calm down and so I did that little pink blob and I overlapped it onto my photo just to make it look connected and like it belonged I then added a bit of pink paint around the edge of my uh, layout which is not something I usually do I, I like it um honestly I, I must have been feeling confident to try that on this page because usually I would not have done that um so that's a good sign I guess that the crafty mojo is back uh and then I'm now adding a few little embellishments whenever I do these big uh kind of like a photo strip layout I love to put embellishments where the photos meet in the corners so I've got that you are magical uh, and then down below there's a couple of hearts and now I'm going through another little bowl of embellishments on my desk uh, and just sticking in some extra flowers. I always try to put purple things on pages about Violet because you know her name and also because we've talked about before Vault, a purple is the Voldemort of the scrapbooking world we just don't talk about it we just no one everyone just pretends like it doesn't exist when they design scrapbooking collections and it just is the mystery color that sometimes sneaks in and I feel like it's time for Voldemort to have its moment um, it's time to let the purple shine and so my challenge for you if you are getting crafty this week is to include some purpleness on your project whether you're doing a journal page a scrapbook layout it doesn't have to be a completely purple page um, that's a lot but it includes something purpley because I just feel like it gets left out a lot I've sped this bit up quite fast because I am punching a bunch of stars I really need to sit down and just punch a whole heap of them out because I use about 10 to 15 on every layout that I do um, but I'm just sticking those down amongst all of the things because you can never have enough sprinkly bits but how are you all going peeps how are you going I am sorry I haven't been around here I have been catching my tail for the last lot of months just with medical things and all sorts of bits and bobs that have been going on um, at the moment we have poor Arch has influenza A and so he's home and I have a feeling he has spread his love to Violet and I because if you can hear my throats it's not great um, so I'm hoping to get that out of the way before Christmas but thank you so much for joining me here today um, and let me know what is happening in your life at the moment if you had to sum up your life right now in one sentence what would it be I think mine would be chaotic end of school mayhem plus sleep deprivation. <laughs> I think that pretty much sums up life right now. Um, but I do have some exciting things in the works. I We just got back, Aaron and I went to Melbourne for a week um, for our 10 year wedding anniversary. And so I bought a ton of stationery and planners, so many planners, so, so many things. Um, so I'll be filming a Let's Get Inky video for the new year about my planner situation and what I'm using. Um, but yeah, I've got quite a lot of things 
in the process of getting done. Um, and also, if you ever want more inkiness, um, I post eight videos a month over on Patreon, as well as a full digital exclusive collection every month. Oh, hang on. What did I forget? More sprinkly bits. You can never have enough sprinkly bits. Um, but yeah, I know that this time of year um, can be difficult for a lot of people. It's a difficult one for me. And so if it is a tricky time, I'm thinking of you and I'm hoping that we can get through December stress-free and um, flop into the new year with some positivity and a whole bunch of time to be creative because that's what that's what I'm hoping for. Um, but let me know what are what are your current favorite crafty projects that you're working on and what's something new that you'd like to add to in the new year or in the next year I should say um, crafty wise but here you go jazz hands um, again thank you so much for watching today peeps if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that we can reach out to more inklets and they can find their video this video and I hope you all have a fantastic week I'll be up next week as long as I don't go downhill with influenza with a video on let's get inky bye